Hello, welcome to my channel. Here today with a weekly review of what I read last week, what I'm going to read this week. Um, I know I missed a week. Been kind of hectic, but it's all right. Keep up. Uh, just more books to talk about. So this is really a two-week thing. Anyways, I think the last one, the book I was reading was uh, Tower Midnight when I left off and I finished that one. That was great, but I already got a, a Wheel of Time book. But anyways, here we go. Uh, the first book I read since then was the Before the Coffee Get Go. You know, I'll just add them both. I read both of them. Uh, Before the Coffee Gets Cold and Tales from the Cafe. Uh, very good, uh, well-written time travel books. Usually time travel has a lot of uh, plot holes and doesn't very makes doesn't make sense very much sometimes but uh these ones are pretty short international bestsellers by japanese bestseller uh tor hoshikazu kawaguchi i'm trying i'm trying but uh yeah very good uh more uh, i thought i was gonna i picked these up for uh, cozy comfort, I wanted something uh, between my uh, expanse and my wheel of time, the uh, uh, palette cleanser, if you will. And they uh, they were uh, I thought they were going to be more happy. They were really more sad. I got another book to go in it, but uh, so far, but the time tra the storytelling is very uh, well written and sad. I can't stress that enough, but. Uh, but I, I, I did, I didn't go in there looking for sad books, but it was gonna be this kind of sad. It's the kind of sad where, because uh, of course it's time travel, and they go visit their dead loved ones. There's a couple stories where they go visit a boyfriend or fiance, but the good meat potatoes of it is with the loved ones and very well written. Uh, before the coffee gets cold, I'm gonna read the next one uh, after and whenever I read them. Uh, the next book I read, uh, The Three of Us, another uh, a new debut by Orjab Abaja Williams. I'm trying, people. I'm sorry. But uh, this was a, uh, I still don't, I'm try I thought more about this book and uh, the unreliable narrator aspect of it. And it's a new review, and uh, I'm I'm not sure if uh, I was supposed to like the characters or not, or if this was a critique. If it's a critique, it was very very good. If it wasn't, it, I have had my problems because the characters are very unlikable. They're very bougie and upper class, and they act that way. But if this was supposed to be a critique, five stars, a uh, great debut. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's about a, a wife, a husband, and her best friend, and their relationship, all three of them together, <laughs> and a drunk afternoon. Uh, I read this in one day, and this story takes place in one day. So it was good to uh, read it as it was going. I never done that before. So, and yeah, they're drinking throughout the whole, as you could tell, they're drinking throughout the whole day, and so by the end of the book, it gets pretty good. <laughs> Uh, I'm reading The Expanse. Uh, I got done with TMS War. I'm reading the other Expanse right now. Uh, Leviathan Falls, I'm finishing that up. Uh, if you know, if you've been watching, if you've seen any of my Expanse videos, you know I, I'm, I'm enjoying the ride more than I'm enjoying the, the story. I'm enjoying uh, listening. I'm in, after I get done reading these, I go online and I uh, look at other people's opinions and the way they talk about it and the way they describe it. I wish I was reading it like they were. But uh, Expanse, space opera, just a just a little too much of plot armor and convenience and contrivances in this story for me, and some underlying neo capitalism. Uh, neoliberal undertones I'm picking up at least I always say that you got to look at what time the book was written and this is uh, peak political time in the USA uh, Alita Battle Angel I'm uh, I'm almost done with these two I'm um, this one uh, book four 
Yeah, I think there's five of them. Uh, Alita and doing her thing. Uh, picking up more side characters and love interests. And, well, people fall in love with Alita, of course. And, uh, but she's taking fellas. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I really enjoyed uh, Alita Battle Angel, a uh, cyberpunk classic, gory. Well written. It got uh, the character development. I'm I'm uh, interested in what happens to Ido and Alita. Uh, the story does progress uh, into uh, there is a time jump. So yeah, I'll just mention that. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to go into too much spoilers. Uh, and then I like I said, I I finished uh, Towers of Midnight and uh, Memory of Light. Really, uh, I finished the Wheel of Time. I finally finished the. I hate this cover. Uh, Amazon, what's wrong with you? This is just a money grab. I, I could tell uh, just the way it was written, and I, I don't. I'm not sure when uh, they first print books if they, if they, uh, how they map it out on the book, because sometimes. You turn the page and the surprise is on the next page. Not like the end of the chapter, but maybe it just works out that way. But this way, uh, the way the I know this isn't the original format, and I think that's where it affected my reading of it. But other than that, great story, five stars. Robert Jordan, uh, I really love this the whole story. I feel like a real YouTuber now, accomplished, and yeah, just. I'm getting all into the deep dives and the fan theories, and uh, if I didn't feel like a bad reader before, I feel like a really bad reader now. Now that I see all the mistakes or all the little hints that I missed, and all the uh, my fan theory did come out. Uh, my fan theory for the ending is actually the one I came up when I read it. I thought about it. And I'm like, oh, I think this is the ending. It is actually not a, a popular one, but it is a theory that people do have. Uh, so at least I'm not alone. <laughs> but even uh, the background story that I really didn't, um, when you're reading it, maybe you lose some of the history behind it. Or maybe I'm not uh, there when, when I'm looking at it on YouTube, they're talking about it and they have the big white book they're talking about that Robert Jordan uh the the world of the world of time and how the making of the world of time and so they're using all that information so they're talking about you know the forsaken and Egwene and rand like i've never heard of them talk about they're like I, I didn't know that uh, part of their the story the forsaken or the age of legends i didn't know that you know that much information so but but then again i'm i'm asking myself did i miss that in the book or do I have to pick up that stuff? I'm not going to go buy another Wheel of Time. Well, I, I don't know. I want to do a reread, and I guess that would be a good thing to invest in the big book. But then there's so much YouTube, and there's so many experts out there. I'm picking up all the all the knowledge that they have. I don't see that I could pick up any more knowledge. You could go... Uh, I can't remember what college they were talking about, but I was watching... Uh, a video on YouTube and they were saying, yeah, you could go uh, to this college and look at Robert Jordan's notes. You just have to like leave your cell phone or something. And yeah, you could go through the, his notes and try to find things. I guess uh, people did that for George Martin too, George R. R. Martin for the Game of Thrones. They're trying to figure out fan theories and such. And yeah, people go look at their notes and try to piece it together. More time than I got more. I, I like to listen. To, I, not that I don't make my own, but the complexity of some of their uh, fan theories. Uh, very interesting, very, uh, I'm happy to be part of the community uh, wholly now. Uh, that, no, you know, I'm not afraid of spoilers and I could just go into any video and it feels really good. I feel, like I said, I feel very accomplished. A 15 book series. I'm about to finish The Expanse. I'm on the last book of The Expanse. Uh, about 250 pages in and uh, honestly it's not the finale I'll make my video I, I know I've been slacking on the videos I'll be I'll make my uh, 
my review for that. And I'm thinking about doing some series reviews. So I'm gonna, uh, I finished the Death series this year, the Will of Time series. I'm gonna finish The Expanse right now. Um, I finished uh, Book of the New Sun. So four series I've read this year that I could think of. Oh, I, uh, Akira, I read Akira. So, okay, so that's five series. Uh, top five series of the year so far. Okay, that's a bit video idea. Uh, and then the last book, uh, the book I just got done reading before the expanse, uh, The House on the Sands of Vespa. Uh, mystery, gothic, mystery ghost story that wasn't quite very mystery or gothic or ghost story to me. Well, it, goth, goth is uh, just the time period. So yeah, they're in mid, they're in Victoria, England. So everything's goth before, you know, so. But uh, just kind of disappointed in this. I thought maybe this is book one of the Cutter series. I, I think I read right. Uh, and it just came out in 2001. So I thought, I thought maybe, uh, oh, this could be my new series. Cause I want to start a series this, uh, in case you didn't know, I'm just starting my YouTube, my my book journey in general. Uh, I read my, my whole life, but uh, just recently I uh, started reading every day, all day. And really dedicating my life to my books now. And I thought maybe this might be a series I could uh, read as they come out, but... Uh, Maybe I might read the second one, but I'm not totally interested in it. But I've heard stories like that before where people read the first book and they don't love it. Of course, it's, it's, it's the beginning of a series, but there was just some things in it that, uh, like, uh, it didn't need to be 400 pages. It wasn't 400 pages. I hate when books do this, where, uh, where the way it's written is spaced out. And you could, uh, well, they count whole blank pages as page numbers. And they do that multiple times where the whole, the whole, yeah, that counts as a page. And I know why they do it. Oh, it's 400 pages. I feel really smart when I read it. <laughs> but, uh, and it's really easy. It makes it easier to read. I, I, I will give it that. And uh, maybe it does make you feel smart and and it's for the casual reader, but uh, it just makes me think that uh, I'm going to get a big complex story, but it's not really it. it uh, there is a lot of filler in it, I felt like, and a lot of uh, unnecessary recap. I think it, it is a mystery, so you need some kind of recaps to, you know, oh yeah, the, the murder did this and the the victim did this. Did, you have to recap it, but I think they did it the same thing. They just rehashed it over and over again. And the uh, I don't want to go into spoilers, but it just wasn't for me. And yeah, I'm on Leviathan Falls. Um... Uh, Life in general has been uh, uh, just a little busy, not necessarily uh, hectic, but I like to do these when I'm just have free time. I, I don't want to stress about this. This isn't a job. This is my, my new brand new life hobby, reading books, collecting books. I got to make a book haul. I'll look, I got, oh my Lord, no, that's my, my book haul for the month. I, uh, I know, I know, but I'm going to read them all and what happened to the view? Oh, I messed up the view, but sorry about that. But yeah, I got to make a book haul. I, and I got a new subscriber. Thank you for that. If you're watching, uh, thank you for anybody who's watching. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure somebody just went through my videos and uh, saw all my no views and at least clicked on them. So thank you for that. It's appreciated, thank you. Um, and what I'm going to read, let's talk about what I'm going to read. I'm gonna finish Leviathan Falls. Then after Leviathan Falls, I'm gonna finish Elite Battle Angel. Then I'm gonna finish the Bef Before the Coffee Gets Cold, book three. 
and uh, then I'm gonna I'm done with my my uh, my big epic series. So I'm gonna start doing uh, some standalones and uh, some sci-fi classics after after this shit show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know uh, anybody who loves the Expanse, I love you because you see. <sighs> I just, and I, I think maybe uh, 18-year-old me would maybe like it, but where I'm at now in my life, or I, I like to think I haven't changed that much. Maybe there, there would probably was a point in time where I would have thought this was uh, uh, very cool, but at this point, it's just kind of like uh, the Fast and Furious movies, <laughs> where it's like, yeah, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> like, I don't... I want some substance in my in my storytelling. But if you want a fun ride, read The Expanse. No doubt about that. If you want a fun ride and want to be edge of your seat, action packed, it uh yeah, I'll give it that. But not, just not for me. And uh and yeah, uh just growing as a channel, uh, becoming a better reader. I think I'm uh I remember my first couple of videos. And I was kind of criti criticizing uh, some of the YouTubers. And I see how stupid, <laughs> of course, of course. And uh, yeah, just reading, but everybody's different. Everybody got their own schedule. Don't judge people on their videos that you see 15 minutes of their life and <laughs> things I should have known, <laughs> things I should have been better at. Uh, and I, I mean, yeah, now that I am doing the YouTube, I think about some of the stupid comments I've left on some people's channels. And I also, now that I do YouTube, uh, I also watch all the ads that play through because I know they get a, they, they, they tell you, you know, we only get a couple pennies every time you watch these ads. Well, I'm trying to help and I, and I'm liking and subscribing and so help each other out. It does make it, uh, when I did get that new subscriber, it made me, oh, hey, you know, and I, and somebody liked my videos and somebody at least watched my videos. Cause I did notice that, that no, uh, nobody's watched a couple of these videos and it, it didn't get me down, but I, I big YouTube, uh, YouTube booktube is a very big place. And, um, this is just my little corner and it's not like I'm doing a big, uh, I'm not doing uh, advertisements or I'm not on Discord and I'm not going on other people's channels and uh, promoting myself. I'm not promoting myself and I'm not... If, if And even when I watch BookTube, they always tell you, you know, don't... Uh, they don't say don't do book reviews, but they say book reviews don't get as many views, so they don't do them. And I can see how that works because, yeah, only so many people read this book at this many times. And there's a lot of top 10 lists and a lot of why you should read. And and I just don't, like I said, I, I finished, well, last year I finished uh, Ender's Game and uh, The Foundation, um, some Star Wars House Solo. So I could make a top 10 videos, but maybe that would be just my 10 series. I could do my 10 books, but... I want to get get a little bit more experience under my belt before I start doing the 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 top ten lists and uh, uh, the end. It's already halfway point in the year. The month is already almost over. So uh, the big but the big Christmas sales are gonna come for the books. I'm already got some of them uh, on my wish list because I know. Uh, a lot of the companies, they just try to get rid of their hard carvers because they take up so much space, so they have them like half off. So, yeah. Uh, but continuing BookTube and making book uh, video ideas. Like I said, I, w I was thinking about making uh, uh, Why You Should Read the Death series. But then I see so many of those videos. And... I always feel like people are talking, saying things better than I can, uh, more educated, uh, more literate. Uh, they probably don't have to look up a handful of words every time they turn the page. <laughs> I, I was, I was going to do that too. Uh, I was going to, uh, make a list of words I've learned 
because uh, every every book uh, there's at least one or two words. It's not like every five words every page. Like I said, In every book there's at least three three words. I'm like, what is what does this mean? <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so it, it's good. Uh, I can't think of them offhand right now. You guys get that, I'm sure. When uh, oh, I have this whole thing, and then when somebody asks you, go oh, come up with one idea. I can't think of one. <laughs> The human brain. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my, uh, my the best book, my best book, uh, wrap this up. The best book of this wrap up, this weekly wrap up, this bi weekly wrap up, however I'm going to do it. Maybe just switch on to Saturday, thinking it out loud. The obvious choice, The Memory of Light, Robert Jordan, RIP, greatest series I've read. Uh, just uh, oh, and I did read uh, Game of Thrones. That was a very good series too. But this uh, takes the cake. Uh, just, just the, um, just the adventure, the adventure. And I know there's some criticism. It is a book, 15 book series. You're gonna get to some places where you're like, oh, why are we doing this? <laughs> what are we doing here? Why is this character doing this? Or not even well, yeah, a little bit of that too, but all around a uh, very solid story. And then once you finish it, you feel so accomplished with yourself, and you can go on to uh, YouTube and uh, Ranland, I think it's called, and the Dusty Wheel, and uh, all the other ones. D big shout out to Dusty Wheel. Uh, there, they've been. I've been binge watching their podcasts, their shows, and you uh, you won't be disappointed. If you read all 15, you will not. I guarantee you that you will feel at least accomplished that you read them. And I understand if it's not for you, because I fell in. I think when I started uh, my book too, I also started The Wheel of Time. And, uh, and I was so in love with these books. I, I, I fell in love with I was a Robert Jordan stand right from the get go. Right. Uh, right from uh, the eye of the world. I knew I was going to love these books. It's just I, I got that feeling. Just like when I started the Expanse, I kind of knew I have, uh, these books aren't really, you know. But uh, I knew I was gonna love it, and that's how I started BookTube. And a lot of there was a lot of criticism, and uh, I think that's where a lot of my criticism from BookTube came from because I realized that like why don't they like the same books I like? Why don't why aren't they in love with this the same way I love it? But then I like I'm I don't love some books that people love. And so I'm learning, and it's always good to grow as a channel, just to realize how stupid. I, I think that's how it is. I think that's how it's going to be with everybody. Uh, even this video, when I'm confessing how stupid I am, a year from now I'm going to look back and I'm be like, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I'm so stupid. You're not stupid. You're human. You're. Uh, but best book, best book, worst book. If I had to choose, uh. Yeah, just disappointed. If I had to choose, yeah. Of course, I'm always disappointed in The Expanse, but... Uh, surprise hit. Big shout out to the, uh, the three of us. Uh, new author. Uh, very good. If you haven't read it, uh, pick it up. It's a short book. I know... Uh, I don't know why they do this, but... These little books cost like... 15 bucks, 20 bucks. I it's a it's a 200 it's a 200 pages. I don't know why they do that, but and I can understand why you don't want to pick up a $20 book. I, it's not 20, it's probably 15. I was looking for the price, I can't find it. But uh But yeah, I don't know what's wrong with book prices. Uh even when people buy books, uh, when people sell books online, they're trying to sell a used copy of The Expanse for 20 bucks. Come on, people. Yeah, it's a used book. Anyways, surprise hit. Best book. Kind of disappointing. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for letting me speak and talk and talk about my books, my new hobby, my new love. Uh, yeah. Uh, keep on keeping on. Thank you. Uh, like and subscribe.